Welcome to another episode of Ace the Sales podcast, a place where we talk about everything from mindset to skills to strategies that can level up your A game in selling. I'm your host Roshni Baronia and today I've got an exciting but very important topic for you if you are a business owner. We'll be discussing the steps to create a sales playbook for your business. Whether you are a startup or an established company, having a sales playbook can significantly boost your revenue and streamline your sales process. So let's dive right in. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty and the details of creating a sales playbook, let's first understand the basics. What exactly is a sales playbook? Well, think of it as a comprehensive guide that outlines your sales process, strategies and best practices. This document is the holy grail for an organization because it keeps all the different people involved in the sales process aligned in terms of activities done, defined goals and messaging. It acts as a roadmap for the sales team ensuring consistency, efficiency and increased success rate. But if you are a solopreneur or a small business owner and you do not have a sales team yet, is it necessary for you also to have a sales playbook? Yes. The answer is a big yes. Even if you are currently doing what is called founder-led sales, a sales playbook is something you should definitely have for yourself. And that is for two reasons. First, that as entrepreneurs, we keep having new ideas each day. And that is what many a times distracts us from following the strategy, sticking to the plan or achieving our goals. And since revenue generation is the core engine of any business, you need to stay focused and aligned to the sales plan. This document called Sales Playbook helps you in doing that. Secondly, what gets measured gets improved and achieved. The sales playbook helps you to put together in one place everything that you need in order to accomplish your revenue goals. So it keeps things organized and hence increases efficiency for you as a solopreneur also. Achieving goals efficiently is critical for any business, big or small. So even if you don't have a sales team, yet you should have a sales playbook. The day you plan to bring in a sales or a BD person on your team, this sales playbook will again be an important document to hand them over while onboarding. So now enough of why you need a sales playbook. Let's dive into how you can create a winning sales playbook. But before we do that, a quick shout out to Done For You Podcast, the production company that edits, publishes and produces Ace The Sales Podcast. Done For You Podcast specializes in creating podcasts for experts and entrepreneurs, coaches and consultants, authors and subject matter experts. And if you are one, contact them from link given in show notes to start your very own podcast. And now let's get into the step one of creating a winning sales playbook. Step 1. Defining your target audience First and foremost, your sales playbook should capture a detailed description of your ideal client avatar, that is your buyer persona. If you are selling to corporates, mention the exact designation or titles, employees' motivations, etc. If you sell to individuals, list out their pain points and buying behaviors. Because understanding your ideal customer's needs, pain points and motivations is crucial. Conduct a thorough market research and gather data to create buyer personas. Mention and articulate these findings in the sales playbook. These personas will help you tailor your sales approach and messaging to resonate with your potential customers. Step 2. Articulate your sales process. Map out each stage of your sales cycle from lead generation to closing the deal. Determine the key actions, milestones and touch points that occur at each stage. By having a clear and defined process, you can identify bottlenecks, track progress and make informed decisions to optimize your sales efforts. What this means is clearly articulating what are the steps involved when you do the outreach on social media. What happens when do you do it via email? 
Are you cold calling? Are you cold emailing? How many emails in the nurture sequence? What is the copy of the emails? What are the touch points in each sales channel? So these are the kind of things that you definitely want to and should include in your second step of creating your sales playbook, which is articulating your sales process. Step three, craft compelling sales messaging. You need to develop a clear and consistent message to communicate with prospect, which gives a feel of your brand and personality. You should not be formal in one instance and casual in another. There has to be a consistency. When you put your messaging here in the sales book, chances are that you won't deviate from a particular kind of authentic sales messaging. Develop a value proposition that highlights the unique benefits of your product or a service and make it a part of your messaging. Create persuasive sales scripts, email templates, common questions the prospects have, prime needs that they have that you are fulfilling and your objection handling strategies. This step ensures you and your future team to be well equipped to effectively engage with potential clients at every touch point. Step four, comprehensive sales training. Now, this is a piece that is relevant more for sales team where the organization creates a development plan for their teams and invests in training programs to empower the salespeople with the necessary skills and knowledge. But for you as a business owner, you also need to invest in upskilling. So list out the places from where you will do it, like listening to Ace the Sales podcast every week or if there are any books that you want to read up about sales. Is there any course that you want to take up? Is there any certification? Is there any community of salespeople you want to join? Personal growth and skill development is as critical for the founder and the business owner as it is for your team. Put your own growth plan in your sales playbook. Now, before we move to the next interesting step of creating a winning sales playbook, I want to take a moment to make a podcast recommendation to you. Now, since you are listening to this one, you obviously like podcast and obviously you are interested in growing your business. So another podcast that can give you actionable business management tips and make you efficient and productive entrepreneur is Business Veda hosted by Malay Dabania. Malay is the author of the book Business Champ and is a business transformation coach with 30 plus years of experience as an entrepreneur himself. He gives useful business tips in around 10 minutes. So once you are done with this particular episode, head over to Business Veda and get some more actionable business growth strategies. And now, Moving on to step five, which is partnerships and collaboration. Now, this is something that is an important element of your sales playbook. Profiling your sales partner, which kind of business or people make the best referral partners, channel partners? How will you engage with them? What are the monetary arrangements or barter arrangements? Do you need a contract to maintain and execute such kind of a partnership? Because creating collaborations and partnerships is a wonderful growth strategy. Ponder over it and fill it out in the document because once you do that, only then you will start forming these associations. Step 6. Measure, analyze and optimize. Continuously track and analyze your sales data. Use key performance indicators, which is KPIs, to measure your own performance and identify trends and areas for improvement. Regularly review and update your sales playbook based on real-time insights to stay ahead of the competition and adapt to changing market dynamics. Step 7. Foster collaboration and feedback. Your sales playbook should be a living document that evolves with your business. I would encourage you to seek feedback from your mentors, coaches, other strategists if you work with them. Share your success stories with your friends. Make a note of what worked, what did not work and look for improvements. As I said, it is a living document. So keep updating it with learnings that you are having on the go and make it a very dynamic document of your business. And there you have it, seven essential steps to creating a sales playbook for your business. 
Remember, a well-crafted sales playbook can align your goals, optimize your sales process and ultimately drive revenue growth. So take the time to invest in building a document, building a playbook that reflects your unique business and empowers you to succeed. That's all for today's episode of Ace the Sales Podcast. I hope you found value in this episode. If you have any questions for me or want to share your own experience of creating a sales playbook, feel free to reach out to me on my social media channels. As always, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast for more insightful episodes like this one. Until next time, stay safe and take very good care of yourself. This is your host, Roshni Baronia, signing off.